man today was real nice you know I'd, I finally got the arc 6 video just fully uploaded ready to premiere on the Friday previously which you know you all have probably seen if not I'll put a card up in case you're interested it's right there but, you know got that up last Friday which I mean for me is the Friday coming up but whatever you know I got that done that was great that felt great right three hour long video and then there was some other shit today that was you know decently exhausting and I'm, I'm sitting there just thinking to myself like ah oh, damn I still have one more thing to do because yesterday I realized oh shit the sumo arc of Baki is done and I said I would review that or rather review the sumo arc and the Musashi stuff all together in a way right small review giving my thoughts on how I feel currently because I feel like I should I kind of just want to but I realized oh shit that uh that ended yesterday oh man well guess I have to do that now all right so we got our fucking moe shit out of the way right now we can talk about some fucking manly shows oh muscle testosterone you're a fucking a dude but uh yeah so Bakido's second arc is finished and I feel like I just want to talk about it why not give my thoughts because really I have some thoughts about it currently that might differ from how some people feel about it. I'm not even really sure what the overall opinion of Bakido currently is for other people, but I wanted to give my own opinion here because it's kind of how I feel about it and I know like some buddies of mine feel about it in a way and I just want to talk about it and to give just a quick, you know, overall answer in a way and then obviously go into it more I'm almost, in a way, slightly disappointed with how it's been a little bit compared to Son of Ogre. And I mean, I guess that's not really fair. Son of Ogre is really, like, something else, right? It is insane on how good it is. And I don't think, really, Baki will, like, get to that point again, right, with how Son of Ogre was. Like, that really did push the series to my absolute fourth favorite. It was my third but, I mean, I got further enough into One Piece and I was like, okay, I feel like One Piece is probably my third favorite, but it's definitely my fourth currently, right? And I feel like Son of Ogre really helped push that for me. I've really liked the series for a while, right? Like, Prison Convict stuff, Maximum Tournament stuff, the Ride Tai Tournament, right? I liked all of that a whole lot. But Son of Ogre, like, every single arc is just really good in it. There's no arc that I was like, oh, it's decent, right? I like the prison battle arc. I like the training, like the shadow boxing arc. I loved Pickle. I liked the final battle arc. I, I, I kind of said only loved for Pickle, but really I loved all those arcs. I'm just using liked in a way to also express it easily. Very tired. Just know that arc 6 video really even like editing and putting final touches in and putting the premiere up all that shit it, it it was a whole lot right it's taken a whole lot out of me but overall right son of ogre for me was just huge and like actually was really fucking fantastic i'm probably gonna do a full review on it and just like give my thoughts about that once the anime is finished with it because i don't really feel like doing a manga review of it especially when i finished it over a year ago so I don't really, I don't know, I don't know what to say really because it's some stuff that I might have even just forgotten because it's been that long and I might have to reread it as a result. But I feel like it's better if I just wait till it's animated because, uh, who knows? There's an event with Baki, something like an anime event, on the twenty sixth, I believe, and it's like, well, shit. If that's happening, that could be the pickle arc. Who knows? But I'm just gonna wait. Really, I'll wait till all that's done and then I'll give my overall thoughts on Son of Logar because I love that shit and I would love to talk about each individual arc and go into the shit I love about all of them but talking about Bakido I'm going to split this up into two sections right Musashi stuff and the 
sumo stuff, right? And it's it's gonna be short, really. I'm gonna try my best to make this video decently short because I have some shit to say, and it's not great, right? I still do like Bakido. I think it's still good. I think it still delivers in being entertaining, but I don't think it really lives up to the same amount of hype or cool like type of shit in it and everything that the previous arcs in the series have had. I don't know. I'll go more into that, but two parts. Let's get into the Musashi part. Let's go. So something interesting I feel like I've noticed with the series is it almost feels like there's this opposite like problem type of thing, right, to Bakudo. The Musashi arc, it's good, right? I think it's cool, the idea of bringing back some character from like way back when, right, and then having them fight all the characters here and there and all that. That's neat, right? I like Pickle a whole lot. Partially because of that, because he's just a fucking caveman that they start fighting, and it's like, he's great, right? And he's like a legitimate threat. And so is Musashi, but Musashi's made in such a way throughout the series, right? Or I guess throughout this arc, rather, maybe not the series. I mean, I guess he does get brought up a whole lot, come to think of it, but through this arc, it's like, there's, there's two scales with him, right? There's this whole thing of, like, showing how overpowered he is and everything, and, like, pretty much making any fight he gets just kind of, di like, disappointing, right? And the other character doesn't get to do shit. Look at Dopo. Look at, look at Retsu especially, right? He's fucking dead. He's not fucking killed. Uh, like, all this shit, right? It, it makes that other character look like they're just completely useless to this, like, swordsman, like, and listen, I like swords, right, I like that a lot, I like big, powerful swordsmen, I, that's a, like, big trope that I like a whole lot, and I know this is, like, more so an actual man in a way, but you know what I mean, right, it's, I, I like anybody who's just this big, powerful swordsman, whether real or not, right, fiction or non-fiction, just, I love that shit, right, but, it's like it's almost just disappointing with him he kind of just makes everybody look weak as shit or it's like you get the scenario with like something like Yujiro I'm gonna say where it's like there's, there's a cool fight going on in a way here right but it doesn't really lead to anything it's these two have fought right they, they did some neat shit here and there right Yujiro kicks him in the nuts uh, Musashi like it hits him a bit and it just like does nothing to him almost right but it, it really amounts to nothing they just walk and have a drink and it's like man that was that was disappointing and I got excited at one point right because you see Hanayama walking up to Musashi and that's like that's cool as fuck because it's like oh shit maybe he can win he's like the really good against weapons and all that right and it's going real well and I got excited on my first read through right I was like, oh shit, he's gonna win. Hanayama's gonna beat the shit out of him and win, right? He's gonna be the winner here. And then he loses, and, like, in a really kind of pitiful way, and it's like, fuck, all right. And then Baki fights him, right, like, by the end. And it's a, kind of a disappointing fight there because it's going well, right? And Baki's, like, getting a decent hand on him, right, like, an uh, upper hand on him. And that excites me. And then there's, like, here's the spirit old lady, whatever, sucking the soul out of him. And it's like, fuck, that was a real letdown, right? That, that, was, that really let that whole thing down. Like, I think the only fight overall that Musashi had that I was super fucking excited, like, watching and all that, was Matobe. He legitimately got a really cool fight here. I guess because it was kind of in his element, almost. But he got a legitimately really cool fight here, and he won. <laughs> so it's like, shit, right? He actually got something huge here. And he's a character who, yeah, he's had his moments in the past, right, in the series. But we really see it here, and it's like, shit, they actually gave him something real good. 
but like she's the only one who got it because everybody else it just feels like eh right it, it's kind of like disappointing with everybody else but he he was real good the fights overall though are like they're good right don't get me wrong right it might sound like i'm completely shit talking the fights i'm really not trying to they're great but i don't feel like any of them really i'm gonna say amount to much like i have been with like yuju and all that because it doesn't really feel like it's displaying this, you know, like getting the upper hand constantly between the two forces. It feels like here's Musashi beating his opponent. That's it. There's no upper hand on the other side. It's just Musashi beating him, and that's it. And it, like, I don't know. I, I'm not super entertained by that. There's also that moment where he's just cutting down the police force, like later on, right near the end. And I don't really see the point of this, almost. It might sound, like, weird to say, but it's like... The very clear thing is, yes, his strength is a threat. He could easily do this feat. We already knew this, considering he was doing this without a blade before. Albeit he wasn't, like, actually killing them, right? But he was doing enough that they, like, passed out and everything, just from the sheer force of that. So it's kind of weird when you throw him in there... And have him kill these people and it's just like we we knew he could do this we knew he was strong he was fighting Yujiro and he didn't lose kind of weird but I don't know the, the Musashi stuff was a bit weird the great fights I just wish Musashi as a character was better and now we move on to the sumo stuff which I feel like has almost an opposite problem now we're at the sumo stuff and you know we get introduced to Sukune I hope I'm pronouncing that right and he's cool right I like him right it's not like Musashi where it's like he, he was cool but at the same time he didn't really feel like much to me almost and I just didn't get a huge impression on him I like Sukune I, I think he's great right but a few things with him that just like it, it kind of bothers me right Number one, his first fight, he fights Oliva, right? And I believe that's the first, because I don't think he fights Baki until later. Could be wrong, but I think like he fights Oliva like chapter... Is it like chapter 20? It might be like chapter 20. Maybe it's like... It's around 10 to 20. I don't, I don't remember where it is. Somewhere around there. I think that's his first fight. He might have actually fought Baki first. I don't know. But he fights Oliva, and that fight... He's so disappointing, dude. It is like... I really like Oliva, right? I, I, I really love him. He, throughout the series, he just got better and better. And this, like, hurt just to watch of, like, oh, there goes his ribs, and now he's on the floor. Man, wish... Wish that fight didn't go by that quickly. That fight is, like, a chapter or two. And it's just, like, over like that. And it's like, oh... It's because your triangle, like, muscle shape wasn't the opposite and all that, right? Like, that's almost the explanation they give, and it's like, man, he, he would, like, he was probably a real fucking great character for this type of fight, and there he goes. So that, that was his point. Like, I don't even really see almost what the point of that was, other than to show, like, oh, Sukune is strong. It's like, I assumed so, but... Man, you're, you're gonna go that far? And then also have him, like, lose to a couple people? But, but uh, I'll get to that, right? Uh, well, he fights Baki. And I believe, if I remember correctly, he does lose to Baki. So that already tells you that, like, okay, he's not a threat to Baki. Which is weird to me, right? Because I know he's strong, and Baki probably sees him as somebody strong. But... The whole thing with Bakido, right, in a way, like, why the Musashi thing was such a huge deal, in a way, was the fact that Baki was yawning at the start, right? He had beaten his dad, essentially, right? It was a tie. They both got the title of strongest. Like, they both won, essentially. But he was yawning because there was no greater threat than that. So here comes Musashi, and that is a greater threat. But you introduced Sukune, and he lost to Baki almost immediately. And that really has me looking at that like, okay, so we're now just going back to square one, 
where he's bored because he just beat this man, right? No problem. He should be bored now. And we just, like, keep going with it. And I like that we keep going in a way because we get the sumo tournament, and that's great. I love the sumo tournament. That is, like, pretty much any tournament arc that the series has is great. And the sumo tournament was, like, you know, it's no exception. That one was actually great. I love fucking Katsumi and his, like, Retsu, like, fucking liquid ocelot arm, you know, that type of shit. It's really funny. But all this shit here, like, in the tournament is real great. I like how it goes, right? But, I don't know, it's like Tsukune doesn't really get much, come to think of it. It's like, he gets that fight with Baki, and he loses. He gets the tournament, and, like, he, he, he wins his round in there, right? He wins against Oliva, I guess. He challenges Yujiro, and Yujiro kicks his ass. And then, as of the latest stuff, right, he fought Jack. And, you know, that's a, like, good fight, right? I, I like how that fight was going. It's shorter than I expected, but it's a good fight, right? I like how it was going. But the implication by the end, right, with the latest chapter, uh, spoilers, if you haven't seen it, I recommend going to see it and, like, you know, not continuing to watch this if you're worried about spoilers. But the implication is that he is dead after that, because they mentioned, like, Jack was waiting until he bled to death, and I'm like, oh, is he dead? Is that it? It's a fuck, right? If he is dead, it's like, well, shit, there he goes, right? He barely got time to be a character, and it's like, I don't know, man, this is like, this almost feels like the opposite problem I had with Musashi. I felt like Musashi stayed, like, in this, like, in his arc for a little bit too long. I feel like by the time he lost to Matobe, it's like, okay, we can take him out now. We don't need to continue, right? We don't need to continue having him there. I feel like this is the opposite problem of Sukune didn't get shit. He got a few fights. He won two. And I mean, I expected him to win one of them because it was a tournament fight. The only one, that was kind of out of nowhere. And that was really to just show, hey, look, he's strong, I guess. Now watch him lose to all three Hanmas. And it's like, that well, shit, right? I, I wish that man had more. Because I, I did like him. Right? I was liking him so far. Right? He, had, he had some great moments there. And it's like, man... If he really is dead, that, I, I can understand now why people, like, were so disappointed when, like, just Ollie Jr. lost and pretty much left the series and, you know, you don't see him again. Because, like, I don't know, for me personally, I, I, I might get, you know, a little bit of just hate, angry comments, whatever, but I wasn't huge on Ollie Jr. But I know a lot of, like, buddies of mine and all that, and a lot of people were, and he got absolutely fucked. He really did, like, get absolutely fucked by the end. I honestly felt bad, really. And then he, like, leaves the series after that, pretty much, because it's like, oh, yeah, we don't have anything else to do with him, so there he goes. And it now feels like that with Sukune, and I kind of feel how people felt with Ollie Jr. with him, where it's like, fuck, if this is really the end for him, that's really disappointing, because I was starting to like him. I was like, oh, man, I like him a decent bit, right? He had some neat stuff, I like his whole sumo thing, right, I, li I like that scene where he's just carrying, like, his girlfriend around, right, like, on fucking top of his arm, and it's like, yeah, it's a funny little thing, and it's like, man, if that's it, that, that really sucks, but the next arc we have in this series is Baki going to Chile, I'm interested to see what we do with that, I, I, I want to know where we go with this, right, because, this, like, you know, we had sumo, we had bring this person back from the, the past. I want to know what we're doing next with this shit. Overall, I think current Baki does good, right? There's stuff to enjoy there. The fights are still there and they're still great, right? You turn your brain off, you watch the fight, it's great, right? You get your, like, explanations in there. That's also great, right? Like you always have. That shit's great. But I do feel like there needs to be more almost to the arcs right like previous arcs at least had more to them that made them flow really well and made these characters that were in them great right musashi and just the sumo stuff with sukune i mean sukune is great but like he really didn't get to be established much and musashi was there for a little bit too long i feel like we need some medium ground here with like the chili arc or something where we actually get a character who's neat 
we like see more of right but not too much right uh, if they're like a bit overpowered or something like that right like you know they're a bit too strong then maybe we don't see too much of them but if they're just like in between the line i'm gonna say right like they're decently powerful but they're not like something absurd like they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with yujiro or some shit like that right if they're pretty decent then i wouldn't mind a whole lot of them right but it's overall just that balance it's, it's kind of this weird blend that has to be made with it that like i feel like will then work but we'll see how it turns out i'm hoping for some good shit out of it i'm kind of expecting some good shit out of it it's the premise kind of sounds neat right very like simple premise we have of it at the current moment and we have to wait an entire month for it so i mean that kind of sucks but i'm interested to see where it goes with this i'm hoping for a decent bit right i'm hoping for a new character who's like pretty damn cool has maybe some cool fighting style right something like that hoping for a lot but overall that's really it i'm uh, i'm okay with baki though at the moment right I would definitely put it the lowest out of like the whole series, but I think it's still good, right? But who knows? Maybe the chili arc will raise it for me. Maybe whatever arcs are to come will raise it. And honestly, if I had to be like completely honest, I think part of the problem might even be after Son of Ogre. It like you almost feel in a way like mirroring Baki, where it's like where he's yawning. It almost feels like to yourself possibly. At least for me, it feels like this, where it's like, where do we go from here, right? After Son of Ogre, it's like, where do we go from here? That might be part of the problem. I don't know. But overall, I'm hoping, you know, the next arc is great. And once, you know, Son of Ogre is fully animated, I will do my review on that. Talk about all sorts of shit. I might even mention, like, things in the anime and how they, like, were well animated. Like, you know, comparing it to the manga where I would, like, see a manga panel. And I'd be like, oh, it was really well done here with the anime where they like perfectly replicated this or something right i'm definitely going to get to that we just have to wait for that shit to be animated we got to wait for the father son fight to be animated but yeah that's it i'll be back with possibly another review because i'm close to finishing yu yu hawk show as well as hunter hunter and i might get those two done in a whole video i'll have some more stream highlights out but soon right i'm, I'm still deciding what like the stream i want to use with that so we'll see but that's it for now. Take care. Have yourself a good night. And, uh, yeah. See you all at the, the chili arc.